What's up everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to use the Answer Pro to create a Super 8 film look and take your footage from this to this. So here in my timeline I got this nice shot from Portugal and it's gonna be the shot I'm gonna use to create this look. So the first thing you want to do is go to Effect, search for Dehancer and use the new Dehancer Pro 7. This new version has a couple features you would like to use to create the Super 8 film look. So first thing you want to do is choose your camera. This was shot on a Sony FX3 using slog 3 sgamma 3cine 640 ISO. Instantly it looks really nice. So we're going to use the codec Fission 3 250D for this. We're going to push it all the way to the left. We're going to skip all the other features for now. We're going to go to print. We're going to choose codec and Dura glossy paper. And get a nicer look here. Add a little bit of extra tonal contrast to get a more contrasty look because Super 8 doesn't fare very well with shadows. Add a little bit more color density to get that film look. And the new version of the answer makes it super easy because you can just click here, Super 8 250, and you get the look. Although I must say the quality of this you see is way too low for my taste, so I would go with 60mm. Now we have film that's 60mm at 250 ISO, which matches the film stock I used. Now we're going to go to Halation, we're also just going to select Super 8. There we go, that already looks really nice. Now we can also go to Custom, see it keeps the same settings but then use the Source Limiter to make it a little bit less extreme, put it up a little bit. And we're going to go to Bloom, we're also going to choose Super 8. Their presets are really well done and they're really accurate in my opinion. Now we're going to add some film breath, Super 8, add some gave weave, Super 8, and there we go. Add a little bit of extra vignetting, there we go, there, we, there it is, it's already a really nice look as you can see. Then the final thing is add some film damage, but for this we'll go for Super 8 and then click on the custom because it's very extreme and it uses a lot of different colors I don't like. So we're going to put it on white here, white here. And we're also going to put the scratches on white. I know this might not be fully accurate, but it looks the nicest. Now we already achieved a Super 8 look that looks like this. Besides this, we're going to lower the global opacity a little bit to make it a little bit less extreme which already looks way more realistic. We can go up here now, change the white balance to make it a little bit greener, which I like. A little bit colder. We went from this to this. And there you go. That's how you create a Super 8 film look. So we went from log to a Super 8 look. Now to finish off the look, you want to add something on top of it, like a film mat. I have this Super 8 film mat here. You see it doesn't fully fit. We can just slightly crop on the left side of the clip, crop on the right side, and there we go. We created a Super 8 film look using the Enhancer Pro. This new version makes it super easy and quick to create these kinds of looks, and it's astonishing how easy it has become. So that was it for the tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you're planning on buying the Enhancer or any other the Enhancer products, use code 8 out 10 at checkout on the screen right now, and I'll catch you now in the next one.